A car overheating is never convenient, especially when it happens while idling. This issue requires attention to avoid further damage to the vehicle. The video explains the main reasons why a car might overheat while it's idling. It also provides solutions to help you fix the problem and get back to enjoying your drive. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Bad Radiator Fan When a car overheats while idling, the radiator fan is often the culprit. During driving, the natural airflow cools the radiator and lowers the coolant temperature. However, when the car stops, the cooling fan is responsible for maintaining the engine's temperature. Cooling fans can be either electric or belt-driven. If the fan belt is loose, it may slip, preventing the fan from spinning efficiently, which leads to overheating. It's worth inspecting the fan system when faced with this issue. Bad thermostat. The car's thermostat controls the flow of coolant into the radiator when the engine heats up, especially while idling. If the thermostat fails to open, the coolant won't reach the radiator, leading to overheating. On the other hand, a faulty thermostat can also get stuck open. In this case, the engine may not reach its normal operating temperature, which affects performance. It's important to check the thermostat if you notice these issues. Air in the cooling system. The cooling system in your car operates under pressure and should be free of air. If air enters the system, it disrupts the pressure, preventing the fluid from circulating properly. Air often gets into the system due to a leak. Another common cause is human error. For instance, if the system hasn't been properly bled after refilling it, air might have been trapped inside, leading to potential issues. It's crucial to address this to keep the cooling system functioning as it should. Low coolant level. For the cooling system to work properly, it needs a sufficient amount of coolant. Some engines can hold up to two gallons of it. If there's a leak, the car might lose a significant amount of coolant, which can lead to overheating. In cases where the coolant level is low and no leak is visible, it might be leaking into the engine block instead. This could indicate a blown head gasket, a serious issue that requires costly repairs. It's crucial to address coolant-related problems quickly to avoid further damage to the engine. Faulty Coolant Temperature Sensor The coolant temperature sensor measures the fluid's temperature and helps the PCM decide the right mix of fuel and air for combustion. Some vehicles have two sensors, one near the thermostat housing or in the cylinder head, and another on the engine or radiator. If your car overheats only while idling, the issue might be with the sensor controlling the fan. A faulty sensor could stop the fan from turning on, leading to overheating. Bad Water Pump The water pump's job is to move coolant through the radiator and the engine. As the coolant circulates, it absorbs heat from the engine and cools off in the radiator. If the water pump fails and can't push the coolant, the hot fluid will stay in the engine, leading to overheating. A failing water pump might also cause a leak, which you can spot as coolant dripping under the car. Clogged or bad radiator. The radiator is a key part of your car's cooling system. As coolant moves through it, the radiator removes heat from the fluid to keep the engine cool. If the radiator's passageways are clogged, the coolant can't circulate properly. This blockage prevents the heat from being removed, leading to engine overheating. Fan relay or fuse. Electric cooling fans avoid issues with belts, but there are other components that might cause them to fail. A faulty switch or a bad relay could prevent the fan from turning on. Additionally, checking the fuse responsible for running the fan is essential, as a blown fuse could also be the problem. Ensuring these parts are in good condition will help the fan operate properly. Bad temperature gauge. If the cooling system appears to be functioning properly, another possible issue could lie with the temperature gauge. It's possible that the engine isn't actually overheating, but the gauge is giving incorrect readings. While gauge failures are uncommon, they can happen, so it's worth checking the accuracy of the temperature gauge to rule out any errors before exploring more complex issues. How to fix. If your car starts overheating, act fast to avoid engine damage. First, let the car cool completely before checking it. Look at the radiator fan and belt for problems. Inspect the fan's fuse and relay if it's not working. Check coolant levels, leaks, and for contamination. Use a code scanner to find trouble codes for more details. 
examine the thermostat, temperature sensor, and water pump to ensure they are functioning properly. Remove air from the cooling system by refilling the coolant until bubbles stop appearing. If you can't fix the issue, contact a certified mechanic promptly to avoid severe engine damage. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.